Now, one of the leading pharmaceutical companies in Nigeria, Emzor, has reacted to what they describe as an infamous documentary that exposed the, the abuse of codeine in the country. Chief Executive Officer Stella Okole is worried about the frightening rate of substances abuse, but insists the company has always adhered to good manufacturing practice. The response comes after the National Agency for Food, Drug and Administration and Control, NAVDAC, lifted the ban on three pharmaceutical companies for the production of codeine syrup. Drug abuse is the problem for all of us. All must join you, me, everybody must join us. Amazon has done a lot for the youth. We love the youth. We have a lot of population here who are very young people. One of the things that we have, which is probably, you know, um, is a central, uh, Chico Koli Center for Entrepreneurial Studies. But unlike most countries, our demographic is so heavily skewed towards the youth. So if you have a problem with the youth, you have a problem with the country. So we can understand why there was such a focus around this issue. And it's a good one. It shows that in spite of all the challenges that we have to overcome each day, when we hear an alarm bell ring, we still have our consciousness to know that something must be done. Um, it was also great to see a very quick response from the federal government. Now that we have been in operation for manufacturing and me for over 30 years, and for each of by annually, now that gives you a GMP certificate. We, we, they are regular visitors to us. This issue, this, this product that we are talking about, we have permit for it.